Hi, I'm Sally Quinn, and welcome to The God Vote. Today we have Marty Sullivan, the director of the National Portrait Gallery. Uh, Marty, you've been in the news lately because you've had an exhibition about same-sex desire called Hide and Seek, and it's caused a bit of controversy. Can you tell us how you came upon the idea of doing this show in the first place? If you look at American portraiture in the last century, there's an important theme within it about same-sex desire between artists and sitters or among artists and so forth, which has never in a museum exhibition been explored before. Tell me what the controversy was about. The controversy um, seemed to focus on one brief segment of a video, one of 105 works in the show, and this is a four-minute video uh, called A Fire in My Belly, and it is basically uh, portraying uh, the uh, sort of dreams and visions of a man whose life has been um, devastated by AIDS. One of the images that uh, got people's attention was that of uh, a small um, sort of mass market crucifix lying on the ground with ants uh, crawling over it. Had you uh, had any complaints about this before this whole controversy erupted? The show opened uh, to the public November 1st and between then and the time when uh, we started to hear from people last week uh, we had exactly one, one complaint. And then what happened? There was suddenly it was all over the news. Yes, there was a, a report on one of the internet news services that uh, focused on um, both the allegation that this was sacrilegious to Christian belief and also that the Smithsonian timed the exhibition uh, to ruin Christmas. So you decided to eliminate that one segment that had been offensive to other people. Why did you do that? It wasn't an easy choice. The artist who made it is represented in the show in a portrait of himself by another noted portraitist. And it was uh, to some extent uh, a supplemental rather than a central theme. We, we thought, okay, if, it's, if religion is the, is the focus here, uh, we don't want that. We want people to look at portraits. And so you were criticized for um, censorship. How do you respond to that? Censorship is sort of, you can calibrate it on a, on a, a scale that starts from the very beginning of the show. Uh, I know the curators asked themselves, what works of art would really make the point of this show? This item, which is widely accessible in other uh, areas, seemed to us both off topic if it's about religion and also less central. But it went all the way up to the new Speaker of the House, John Boehner, yes. and Eric Cantor, and a, a lot of influential members who are now going to what, have hearings about this? I'm sure that there will be hearings, but I would also imagine um, in the context of the budget and the federal deficit that there are going to be hearings about federal support in practically every area. This may just be the lightning rod of the moment. What about the religious implications of this? How much does this have to do with people being offended uh, from a religion standpoint? And is that a, an appropriate way to determine whether to censor an exhibition or not? If an exhibition were primarily about religious values or religious identity, we wouldn't do it. This caught us by surprise because many of us, myself included, just didn't see um, the kind of, of um, sacrilege that was alleged. Are you going to keep the show up? Yes, the show is going to remain on view as scheduled through February 13th. Good, thank you.